Hello everyone, it's Lord XFXX Mario's, and today I'm going to be playing a game that's a little familiar to anybody who has subscribed to me since the beginning. This is actually the uh, first game I ever played, starting my Let's Play career, I guess. Um, it's Frogger 2 Swamp Swampy's Revenge. And this is um, my third attempt at trying to record this. I know it's kind of ironic because uh, the first time I tried to record Frogger 2, it was just awful. Like, I had a good recording and then all of a sudden Camp Studio just screwed up for no reason. That was my first recording back when I was actually starting. And now I'm having troubles with it now. How quaint. Anyway, um, stellar animation for the opening cinematic. As you can see, I, uh, my game is very, very bugged. Um, something happened, something awful happened. The pages just got destroyed, apparently, because the game's disc is so old. But I intend to play through the game anyway, and, uh, some of the cutscenes are actually bugged, and they freeze the game at points, so I'm gonna have to skip some of them. So I'm just gonna let you know up front. The tutorial level is the same. Basic controls are still the same as uh, Frogger He's Back, except they're a lot smoother, thank God. Anyway, you can do the big hop thing. Which is useful, I guess. Sorry if I'm not very enthusiastic, but this game has been giving me so many problems. It's not even funny. I apologize, but... Also, I gotta show you this. this. I know a lot of people have already seen this, but, um... This is a cardboard cutout of Swampy. And if you touch it, the frogger goes flying toward the screen. <laughs> Basically, if you die on your last life, frogger just flies toward the camera and sticks to it. Then slides down. Hello again, it's Lord Icevix Licks Mario's. I apologize, but, um, for some reason the audio screwed up yet again, and the recording actually saved for only a 2 minutes and 30 seconds worth of, uh, audio recording, so I'm doing the rest of this post-play to avoid all the frickin' bullcrap that I had to go through. Anyway, here's the, uh, first cutscene. The first cutscene never worked for me when I first recorded Frogger 2 when I was, uh, 13, I think. Later on, I said it w I was 12 when I did this, like, in the original recording. But, um, I'm actually 13. I was actually 13. I'm not actually 13 now, I'm 15. But, um... This cutscene throws up on me all the time. No, it doesn't. The next cutscene does, though, so I have to skip it. Anyway, here's uh, the first level. Uh, basically, it's just your generic lawnmower level, I suppose. Some of the lawnmowers in this level aren't really lawnmowers, but they're apparently push rolling steam mowers, I guess. Steam rolling push mowers or something. It's kind of hard to explain. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna attempt to get all the tokens in this game. If I miss one, I'll go back to it in either another segment, or I'll suicide and attempt to get it again. And if I don't have enough lives, or I don't think I can do it, I'll just do it eventually. Anyway, I managed to get some good quality audio this time. Well, good good quality is a little bit of a stretch. You can sort of hear the audio sort of being a little loud. The bass, I mean. But anyway, it recorded alright. Which I'm happy for. I'm not happy I have to record this part again. Because I actually had some pretty good commentary beforehand. Actually, no I didn't. <laughs> Honestly, my recording sucked entirely for this episode. 
again, it's ironic because the first time I ever tried to play Frogger 2, when I was 13, my recording just wouldn't work. I recorded the game twice with Cam Studio. Nothing worked at all. And that was just getting the game without, like, sound and stuff. Anyway, that's the first level. But yeah, that was just without trying to get the game with the actual sound coming from the game. It's become quite a chore. Hopefully this won't happen for future videos. I had to skip that cutscene. It always freezes up on me now. I tried cleaning the disc. Doesn't work. Anyway, we're in the uh, temple now. Playing as Frogger's apparent girlfriend. Whose name is Lily, I think. I don't know. She was never mentioned in the series before. But to be fair, the 3D installments were like the first ones to give Frogger a plot. And Frogger, he's back, didn't have any plot to go on besides save the frogs. In this one, it actually tries to establish somewhat of a plot that uh, there's an evil alligator that is kidnapping the frogs. And the reason why he's doing it is completely ridiculous. But we'll have to go through this later so I don't spoil anything for the people who haven't watched my previous Let's Play. Um, anyway, this game is actually very violent for a kid's game because on purposely right here I killed myself to show you that there's actually gore in this game. Yeah, it, it literally just like shows your frogs getting split in half and cut in pieces when you get run over by lawnmowers and stuff. And it's nasty. I don't know what was going through the developers' heads when they did this, but, um... I didn't make the game, so I couldn't say. Anyway, uh, another bullet dodging thing. I don't really have much to say. This is the generic second pyramid level. And every single enemy... Well, not really every single enemy, like... It's based... What am I trying to say? Um, I took so long to get that freaking frog because I tried to set up a joke about the boulder coming after me, and it was pathetic, so we'll just leave it at that. That's the second level, and next up... Yeah, the victory music doesn't work for some reason. Suddenly changed to Frogger. And anyway, um, this is a mine level. Yeah. One thing I never got in this first part is the freaking electricity on the floor kills you. Yet, I have no clue. It's like, why would the floor of a minecart be electric? I mean, like, if that was the case, then people in Minecraft would, like, have a field day, because... A, a horrible field day, I mean, but, like, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, um... The game's soundtrack is really good, while well, for a Frogger game. It's upbeat. Very, like, pumpy, sort of. Speaking of which, I'll just... I'm gonna go off track a little bit to tell you the story of this sort of, um... Half-Life 2... No, not Half-Life 2. Half-Life scenario. My brother, like, to obtain the suit in Half-Life. Then he... Then, like, the next time I talked to him, he just kept playing it in the car, I suppose. And he showed it to me when we were riding home. And he called it pumping music. And that, that's a little weird, but... <laughs> I kind of agree, it does sound a little pumpy, I guess. I don't know, you'd have to play Half-Life to get that. Anyway, enough talking about Half-Life, that's not Frogger. Dissing on Frogger's street crit. You gotta talk more about him. Yep. But I can't talk more about him because I don't know what to talk about. Um. The game's good. It's short, though. I mean, 
most of my Let's Plays take about a good 26 parts. This one took not even half that. It took like 11 parts to finish. And that was just me being like a 13 year old idiot who didn't know how to beat the game at all. So, I still make some pretty clumsy mistakes in this game, but it doesn't matter. The, the first the first time I recorded this game, I literally game over like every single stage. I, I don't even know how. It was awful. I look back at myself and I'm like, oh my god, how did I do this? But I've sort of grown on from that, I hope. Um, I guess there's not really much else to say. We're nearing the end of the video anyway, so um, I guess I could just say my closing thoughts. Uh, hopefully I won't have to do any more post-play commentary. It will happen, though. This game is just that bugged. It'll probably, like, screw up Audacity. And screw everything up. Hopefully that won't happen. It was great talking to you guys. It was great recording this, even though it took so long. I'm sorry. But until next time, I'm Lord X of X Mario's, and hopefully we'll see you soon.